Kara Baker, and I'm the Applications and Marketing Manager for DDAP Livestock in North America. Today, I am joined by James, who works with one of our trusty partners, Gia, who's been uh, innovating and working hand in hand with NEDAP for basically since the dawn of time. James, can you share a little bit of uh, your history with the company? Sure. Uh, my name is James Bringy. I've been with uh, Gia for 20 plus years. And what I do for the organization is capital, uh, capital goods sales, uh, mainly in the Midwest. And I work on both large and small projects. So that can encompass uh, conventional milking systems, automatic milking robots, our Dairy Pro Q, and then uh, large uh, conventional dairy projects. So I would say in modern times, probably the biggest flagship product that we've worked on jointly is the Cow Scout solution. Uh, most of our farming community will be familiar with that term and, and how important it is to the modern day dairy farmer. Um, what's been your experience in, and how that's been impacting um, the dairy that is able to get Cow Scout and how Gia really puts a special sauce into that equation? So for Gia, uh, one of our major competitive advantages is the ability to integrate products fully throughout uh, our product line. And Cow Scout is one of those tools that integrates seamlessly to help our producers really gain efficiency. And what I mean by that is the Cow Scout tag can be utilized from the herd management standpoint as a standalone product that a customer can use to help with reproduction and look at uh, eating time and rumination. But the, the real beauty of the product is it integrates beyond that if the farmer so chooses. So in the beginning, it can be a standalone product that the farmer can utilize, but over time as he wants to integrate other technologies, whether it's a milk meter, ID systems into the parlor, maybe it's a sorting system, it could be a robotic milking system or the Dairy Pro Q. It's, we allow that product to really integrate in over time as the need develops on the dairy. So it's a key strength of the product for Gia. Yeah, absolutely. And we've heard nothing but positive feedback from the farms that are able to take advantage of having more of a full circuit solution um, rather than a bunch of individual pieces from different suppliers. Yep. Um, I really look forward to seeing you know, how that continues to evolve in the future. I think it's going to be some exciting times. I'd love to hear though, you know, our dairy community faces a lot of challenges. Um, you're on the front lines hearing a lot of these. I'd love to get your vantage point on what some of the big challenges are that are kind of buzzing out in the community right now. Sure. I think it's um, pretty evident that uh, through the challenging times we've had that labor's really become a struggle for most dairymen. And labor's always been a problem, but just more recently, the availability of it and or finding the right talent that we need on the dairy. So. Cow Scout really is one of those tools that really allows us to utilize our labor better, whether that's on the herd management side or physically finding cows, locating cows in the barn and just working with cows. So it brings, it brings a lot of strengths uh, of the product and allows the dairymen to really utilize their labor much better on the dairy. Um, so I'd say labor is probably the biggest challenge we face today. Yeah, absolutely. I'm hearing it uh, from all corners of, uh, especially the U.S. right now uh, specifically. It's it's such a challenge, so I echo that. Um, I'd love to hear uh, what GIA has new on the horizon to help solve the labor issue. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, the, the product has a strong history of integrating into our product lineup and adding new features and benefits over time. Yeah. One of those key features is gonna be cow location. So cow location in the Cow Scout tag is really gonna allow the dairymen accurately and very efficiently find animals in a large group of cows and not really disrupt the environment that that cow is spending her time in. So uh, I see some real big potentials for cow location integrating into the systems that we have or an upgrade that a customer might already have and then really taking advantage of finding animals efficiently and really increasing their productivity to the next level. All of this can sound good and well, but I think we always get that pushback of how much money do you want me to spend? It's not like milk braces are taking some big leaps and bounds that are going to help fund these projects. So what's your thoughts on kind of that return on an investment equation for the dairymen to start thinking about? Yep. So, I mean, again, uh, tag management systems in general, I think, are very effective and have a fairly high rate of return on investment. It's not unusual to see a system like this paid for itself in, in, in like three years. Um, the addition of location, I think, will be another component of that. Again, being short on labor means we need to utilize our labor better or get and be more efficient. And I do think there's a real return, whether it's a small herd 
or larger to really integrate that technology and take advantage of that type type of information that we have. Absolutely, James, and I think it's really impactful to see Gia jumping on board um, and adding this piece of the puzzle into your portfolio. I think it's only good news for the dairymen of the future, and I think our partnership's going to continue to soar. So thank I, you for your time today. I couldn't agree more. Thank you.